Hey guys, welcome back to the poor investor or the dragon turtle, whichever one you want to call me. Today, we're going to be coming over from a different angle in regards to some FTX news about some YouTubers who are shilling the crap out of this thing. They're finally getting recognition because these guys have like millions of subscribers at least most of them and we're going to go through the list right now because i found this to be the most interesting part of my day today reading this class action lawsuit that's being brought against these youtubers and of course i want to show you guys right now who are we talking about kevin pafra how much money i was paid in 2022 by ftx and how much money i lost and now i, I thought they would you know alphabetize this list are they doing it by who shows it the most because apparently kevin's the first name that shows up and you don't know who that is that's meet kevin and then we have graham stefan from the moment i became aware of this i posted a video i cut my ties with them and i warned people to get their money off the platform while they still could which is a really huge and popular youtube channel and he has a decent amount of subscribers as well andre jeek if it did I would cancel myself off the internet faster than anyone else tried to because I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. So even though I never had a formal partnership with FTX or Voyager, I was never sponsored nor had any affiliate links on this channel, I can't say that I'm not part of the problem. I regret to have taken on the sponsorship with FTX on the Millennial Money Podcast. I should have known better, and for that, I'm sorry. Jasper Singh. Me and my team are going to be even stricter than we are already with the sponsors that I work with. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. And second, we're going to be working to make sure that all of you who trusted us and who trust us are okay. And we have Brian Jung. Either way, as consumers, we can't get so caught up in just trying to figure out the entire puzzle because there are always going to be two sides to a story that which I watch occasionally. And Jeremy, I can't even pronounce that last name. The thing that really scared me away from FTX was when Voyager went down. When Voyager went down, that was like that was about the end for me when it came to FTX. And obviously, you know, ties were cut on my channel. Ties were cut on on uh, obviously, you know, MM at that time because. Tom Nash. We move on. The quick message from FTX US who sponsored this video, as always. Ben Armstrong. We have the ones that want to see crypto turned into everything it wasn't supposed to be. And on the other side, we have the people. And together, we're stronger than the elite. And we can do this. Which side are you on? Erica Kohlberg. I've actually seen brands underpay many people. I myself started an agency to represent creators because I saw how many people were getting underpaid. And I think the best thing you can do is within your niche, talk to other people, go to the other finance TikTokers and say, hey, how much is this brand paying you? And that's how we can get a little closer to that pay transparency. Uh, and the creator agency LLC. And we're going to go through the little fine details of who these individuals are and why is this their class action lawsuit against these individuals well because they were basically shilling uh ftx on their channel on their youtube channel and taking advantage of all their subscribers something that i would never ever do all right let's just be clear with that and the reason why i can't do that is because they never reached out to me to shill it to begin with now if i if they reached out to me and say hey uh, Mr. Poor Investor, can you uh, shill FTX for us and we'll give you a couple of thousand dollars. And I'll guarantee I would have probably have done it and I would probably be uh, part of this lawsuit as well. But unfortunately, uh, I'm, my recognition out there isn't that large and I don't have that much of a big following. So I would never get to that level. So it may take me another couple of decades before I even reach that point. But that's regardless of the, the point of this video. We're looking into why them specifically and of course we're going to go over the list uh, as, as soon as i find it right here all right so here we go uh I, i'm again i don't know why they had a particular order of like maybe it's in the order of who got more money received when shilling ftx possibly right it's definitely not an alphabetical order now if it was an alphabetical order i wouldn't mean question the uh you know the, the the importance of the naming all right because obviously when you're top of the list you you got some explaining to do at least in my opinion but apparently everyone here on this list has some you know they have to i was going to say legitimate it is an illegitimate explanation as to why they didn't disclose how much they made off of promoting ftx and 
you know, not doing their due diligence. But I think majority of them had come back on or removed the videos that had association with FTX and also apologized to their subscribers on, you know, making a mistake, telling you to invest money into something that was a failure. Of course, they couldn't predict the future, but that's, you know, that's the, the whole issue with promoters, um, you know, with shilling YouTubers, you know, just throwing things out there because they're getting paid to do so. So let's let's go over some of the details as to who these individuals are. Defendant Kevin Pathrath, a YouTube star with 1.85 million followers in his real estate and financial tip channel, Meet Kevin, was paid to endorse FTX and is a citizen and resident of Ventura, California. Now, Meet Kevin started off with real estate videos and I followed him from the very beginning when he was like low, low, way be low a million subscribers. And before he started getting into all this financial and pump and dump stocks and all that other good stuff, he was just strictly real estate and I followed him. Graham Stephan is another one. He he's definitely was a, he started off as a real estate channel and, and I was following him and obviously they all stirred off into the bigger market of finance in general, which is the stock market and real estate and, and the banks and all that. And he has 4.1 million subscribers and on his YouTube page and was uh, paid to endorse FTX and he is a citizen of Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, obviously, they're not saying how much they earned, but I can pretty much assure you with the amount of subscribers that they have and the amount of viewing ship, right, amount of viewing ship that they gather each day, each time they mention something on their channel, someone, even if it was 1% of a million views, someone's going to click on it and they're going to activate something where they initiate a commission back to these individuals. All right. Andrea Jeek, a YouTube star with over 2.2 million subscribers to his YouTube page and was paid to endorse FTX and is a citizen uh, and resident of Las Vegas, Nevada. Jaffrey Sign, a YouTube star with over 1.4 million subscribers to his YouTube channel, Minority Mindset, was paid to endorse FTX and a citizen of resident of Detroit, Michigan. Oh, I didn't know that. Detroit, Michigan. Now, these guys, they're getting called out. And, you know, if someone was to be really malicious, they couldn't easily find these individuals because they're, they are so public. Uh, you know, just like how people can track Elon Musk uh, and then the jet planes and, and wherever he flies. These individuals, I would say, I would be fearful. I'm not saying to go do harm on any of these guys, but if someone had lost a lot of money and have nothing else to lose, whew, uh, better be really careful. Uh, defendant Brian Jung, a YouTube star with over 1.3 million subscribers to his YouTube channel, was paid to endorse FTX and is a citizen and resident of United Washington, D.C. Defendant Jeremy Le Leafy Breve, LeBeffrey, a YouTube star with over 700,000 subscribers to his YouTube page, Financial Education, was paid to endorse FTX and is a citizen and resident of Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, with Jeremy, I've seen his thumbnails. I, I never really understood him. I, I haven't really watched any of his videos, to be really honest. Maybe like yeah, tidbits of whatever. He is really lazy with his thumbnails and his titles. And he got, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just... I'm not too crazy about him, but, um, you know, just so far from what I've seen right here, uh, you know, Kevin, I've watched Graham, I've watched and Jasper sign I've watched and, uh, Brian Jung, one or two videos, not nothing crazy. I'm not too big into these big endorsed, uh, uh YouTube stars. If you want to call them Tom Nash, a YouTube star with over 2000, uh, 283,000 subscribers to his YouTube page. So he's probably like one, the smallest one compared to everyone else over here. Ben Armstrong, you guys are probably familiar with him. Uh, out of all of these, I would say he's like like the most crypto-oriented channel. Not so much uh, like com in comparison to like financial freedom and uh, real estate and all that. Ben Armstrong is um, definitely one of those guys that has a lot of explaining to do in many different angles, not just with FTX. Uh, you know, pump and dumps and stuff like that. Coffeezilla has called him out on many occasions and or maybe just one occasion. But, in, you know, in, in my perspective, like you got called out once, now you're getting called out again. You definitely a shiller. You're like a 100 percent professional shiller at this point. And your name is going to be recognized easily 
as someone to not be very trustworthy. And he has about 1.5 million subscribers to his YouTube page, was paid to endorse FTX, and is a citizen of resident of Atlanta, Georgia. And then you have Erica Kohlberg. Unfortunately, she is the only, and I'm, I'm at least from my understanding, she is identifying or they identify her as a she, at least that's what I think, because Erica with an A, there's an A at the end of Eric, it's a female. Just my opinion, guys, I don't know, all right? She also created Creator Agency, LLC, which is a group of these guys, apparently, that they can, you know, came together, so they're protected by an LLC, and, you know, that, that you bring in all that legal jargon, they're not individually responsible, or are they? Right. We don't know. Is it part of an agency, this company that's protected them? Now, if they go bankrupt, is the company going bankrupt or are uh, the individuals liable for their actions? I don't know. But of course, you could read through this whole thing. Uh, upon uh, information, I believe a founder of Defendant Creator LLC, uh, Creators Agency LLC, and is current identified on Creative Agency's website as one of the finance business creator with 18 million social media follow 18 million guys that is a lot i actually personally have seen a lot of her instagram post shorts if you want to call them that you know she goes back and forth with herself talking to herself saying i have this much money i want to invest it and then you know it's a whole dialogue between everyone's jumping on that same bag wagon all right so the details of the lawsuit is here. And of course, I read this article. The, the article came up here first at 1.40 p.m. And I started reading it. And of course, again, this is archive.ph. If you don't have money to put into subscribing to the market watch, I'm just saying, all right, you could do whatever you want. Anyway, a prominent group of YouTube financial influencers. Obviously, there is a lot more out there that shield FTX not necessarily YouTubers. You got Kevin O'Leary. You got you know uh, basketball players. You got you know football players. Everyone, anyone you can think of, probably had shilled FTX one time or another. And this is just more of a, a you know announcement, a public announcement that you guys have to be really careful on who you listen to and who you trust on YouTube. Not saying don't trust me. Don't trust me. I swear, do not trust me because I, I don't know. Sometimes most of you guys say I don't know half the things I'm saying. That, that could be possibly true sometimes. But anyway, the, the whole point is that you guys have to be really careful on who you follow because I followed these guys. And honestly, I got suckered into Meet Kevin because I actually went to one of his seminars. I'm not saying that it was a scam. But he was promoting something again, right? So he promotes one thing, and, and it's, it's not just him. He he's very like he's very big in that space with promoting different things, his different projects, and you know, getting contributions and earning money from those things, like you know, seminars or whatever it is. It, it there's a lot of you know these guys do that, right? They they find different avenues to make additional income, not just relying on ads on YouTube. Which for me, and I'll be blunt with you guys, I probably earn about like $150 to $200 a month. That is nothing. And I have to push out videos in order to get to that point. And honestly, it's, it's really sad. Wow, it is sad. I wish I could actually earn more. I don't know. Anyway, so that is my point of this video. It, it's, you guys have to be really careful on who you listen to and who you watch. Uh, sometimes they, you know, you can see on the YouTube channel, on the YouTube video, and it says pay promotion. You have to be very cautious of that. Like, what are they, how much are they getting paid to say this, right? So not necessarily actually using it. You know, they, it happens all the time on Twitter. People call pe other people out who are sponsored and promoting certain things, and then they don't even use the product themselves. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it. And again, stay with me. If you made it this far into the video, stay with me because I do have other YouTube uh, Chia videos coming out and I will be picking another winner for XCH. I did not forget about you. And I will continue on that trek when I do the next Chia video. But in the meantime, I will be putting on more con content because right now I think we are in a very very important timeline of our our history our history is being marked right now for the the second or if not you know since the last financial crisis with the banks 
2023 right now with all these banks collapsing and failing and all these different things crypto exchanges all this money just like falling to zero this is history in the making and of course i will be doing more content in regards to it plus more plus other things plus chia whatever all right i want to thank you guys for always being here please show some support hit that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys again really soon bye